Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in a circle kind of collision sphere. Um, and to basically, if you have, for example, an ob object here and you want to have like a sphere around that, um, you know, uh, to see if something enters that sphere, uh, then we can go trigger some events. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add in a blueprint class and we'll make it an actor and we'll call this, you know, sphere. Okay, we'll just simply drag that up over here. It looks like uh, my guy is facing this way. So basically we will just do this here up like that. Let's open up the sphere here and let's, of course, add in a sphere. <laughs> right, and I'm gonna lock this and kind of move it down to maybe about 0.5, right? So it's a bit of a smaller sphere. And um, if we really want to, we can add in a cube. Uh, let's make sure that this cube is uh, outside of the sphere, and then let's drag that guy down like so, and just move it out here, so we can kind of um, get where this is facing here. And if we want to unlock that, we can maybe make that bigger. So something like that. And then let's reattach that to Sphere. You'll see why. Go ahead and push Compile here. And if you look back here, you can see that, well, the Sphere is looking this way. And there we go. Okay. So what we need to do is there's a couple things. And these are not obvious once you um, once you start here. So first of all, I'm going to do an event tick. And this will uh, access the game loop here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a Sphere Trace by Channel. And we need to get um, the sphere here. So let's get that, get uh, world location. And we're going to say that's the start here. We're going to get world location here. And we need a radius. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to create a variable here. And we'll call this radius. Make it of type float. Just like so and compile it and maybe make it 200. Uh, you know what? 300. Okay. So we'll make it 300 and we'll just drop that in here. So now we have, well, basically 300 and we can do one frame. And if we do that here, we basically have, well, this sphere here. And then once we enter it, it's going to do something. Okay. So, so in order to make that work here, this is where it doesn't, it's not necessarily that obvious because you think you can use the sphere trace by channel, but that does not work. Okay, so what we have to do instead is we have to do a sphere overlap. Now, why would you? Um, now, what we do is we do sphere overlap actors. Okay, sphere overlap actors. Okay, and um, what this uh, what this is going to do uh, is basically add in a sphere around the object here. So what we also need to do is drag over this world location from the sphere. So the sphere of position, and we're also going to drag out this radius. Okay, just like that. And you might be thinking, why do we need both these? This is for us to see in debug, and this is for us to actually experience it. All right, um, uh, or to actually make it make it work. Okay. So now that we have that, um, we also need to add in the object type here, and um, We'll do that in we'll do that in a second, but let's what we're going to do is we're going to set up the rest of this here. Okay, so um, the the out actors here uh, we're going to do a for each loop. Okay, maybe make that here, and so all the actors here, and we have to make it sh we have to make sure that we're only interacting with the third person character. Okay, so we're going to cast to third person character. And then the object here is we're going to be the array element. So basically all it's it's saying is that all the things that overlap with it, we need to make sure that the, the third person character is the one here. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to get the mesh. Okay. And then um, the mesh 
of the character um, and um, and that let's see set collision enabled that's not what it is so we're gonna say get mesh and just gonna move this up here a bit because you can't quite see and we're gonna say mesh and we're just gonna get the get mesh here and what we're gonna do is it's not necessarily the variable that we want here but uh, we need to get the world location of the mesh so what we need to do is if we just type in mesh here and if we say you know if we clear one of these we can just pick one of those and get the target mesh and what we need to do is get world location here and what we also need to do is find look at rotation and we need to make this the target okay so the target uh, here um, and what this is going to do um, is this is going to basically look at um, the the item here so let's go ahead and we also need to drag out the sphere and we're gonna say get world location drag that out here and we also need to set world rotate road set world rotation okay and then we're gonna set world rotation of the sphere no, no, that's not the right, that's not the right one here. Set world rotation. That's the one we want. Okay, and then we can just drag that rotation in here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's compile everything, and then whoops, it does a problem here. It says object types. Okay, and basically we need to add in the correct object type. And so what is that object type? Well, all we have to do is promote to variable and we can just call this object types for now. We do need to go compile it and under the ray elements, we're just going to add in the world pawn. All right, let's go ahead and compile that. I think everything should be good here. So as soon as we do that here, you can see that, well, it's starting to look at, well, you. Well, it, it's sort of looking at you. Uh, but not quite. And as soon as you exit that sphere, it uh, it doesn't, well, it basically doesn't work here. So there's a couple things that we can do, okay? Um, and uh, in order to, to make this work here, um, let's first of all go back and move this up, okay? And the reason I want to do that here is that, you know, it is looking at your feet for some reason. And one of the things I, when I work with this stuff, um, a lot of it can be a little bit uh, finicky okay so in order so what we're really looking at here um, you know is the target mesh here um, the other thing you can do is if you go back to your third person character go into the viewport you can um, add in a scene here and we're gonna call this just head okay and we'll just move that up here uh, somewhere to the head here and if you really want to I think you can do that um, and I'll just put it there so that way it's looking at the head and instead of looking at the mesh here if we type in head um, just to get head there and let's just do that here get head and there we go and I think that will make you look, there you go. So now it's looking at your head, okay? And of course, um, if you really wanted to, it doesn't have to be your head, by the way. Um, we can just say, uh, look at position, okay? And you can make this anywhere you want. Like, let's say you want it to be at the body here or the feet, or it doesn't really matter. And it will always look at that particular spot. Okay, so that's a kind of a little helpful hip tip there all right so um, I hope um, here I'll just kind of go over this one last time 
before we end here. We have our event tick. This is, of course, in our sphere. We have to get the sphere location. This sphere by channel is just for debug purposes only. Um, once the real thing here is the sphere overlap, you need to make sure it has the right object type. You have to cast to the exact kind of um, object you want to collide with it. Um, and then you also need to get the look at position and what is looking at. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. And please be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Thanks. And I'll see you in another video.